Let's get to your top story and that is uh, from Madhya Pradesh where 11 people have died and over 200 people have been injured after that fire that broke out inside a cracker factory. This incident that started at about 11.30 in the morning on Tuesday in Madhya Pradesh's Harda continued till late uh, last night. The flames were seen. Uh, they had triggered several explosions sparking panic in nearby areas as well and three people including the factory owner, uh, the factory owner uh, Sumesh Agarwal as well as Rajesh Agarwal along with the general manager have been arrested and are being questioned and what is being said is that the owner of the factory is a repeat offender now uh, many uh, this is uh, as far as the incident is concerned the workers at the factory said that there were no safety precautions in place and that the building did not even have a fire extinguisher uh, going on to add that the factory included a wholesale shop resulting in a large stock of firecrackers that were being stored in the area now the chief minister will be going to Harda in order to meet the victims of the accident and their families and that's going to be taking place uh, this afternoon a little bit before three and an exclusive interview to NDTV investigation reveals how the politically well-connected factory owner of Harda violated the rules despite previous incidents as well. Three years ago, there was a blast at the same factory and three laborers were killed. Still, license was renewed in 2022 till 2025 and manufacturing of crackers continued till date. Madhya Pradesh's government constitutes a three-member committee in order to probe into the incident. We have uh, uh, Amritanshi who uh, sent us uh, this uh, ground report uh, regarding uh, the incident in which 11 people have died and over 200 have been injured. More than 20 hours has been uh, gone and uh, the firecracker factory blast in Harda. Uh, the rescue operation hasn't stopped yet. As you can see behind me, these are the visuals from the place where the blast took uh, place. The flames triggered several explosions, uh, sparking the panic in the near areas. Also, the houses have been evacuated uh, nearly uh, these in, the, in these areas nearly. And the NDRF and the SDRF are uh, constantly being there from uh, last many hours and they are constantly uh, uh, clearing the debris mainly. The fire uh, brigades and the JCBs, the poke lanes have been installed uh, since hours, hours, yes. The injured uh, have been rushed to the hospital. Around 11 casualties uh, were caused uh, in this uh, place basically and also uh, the intensity the city of the blast was such that people in the adjoining Sibni Malwa area uh, in the Nar Narmadapuram district were also affected uh, by this. The factory was operational since two decades. The owners of the cracker unit in Harda applied to Harda administration for renewal of the license under the Explosive Act. The uh, then Harda district collector, however, had found some concern. Factory was engaged in manufacture of crackers but possessed license only to stock and sell the crackers. Uh, with the factory operating in the violation of Explosive Act rules, the factory was sealed out and continued to be non-operational at least till August 2018. In 2018 and 19, the factory started operating again and it got its stocking and sale license renewed uh, till 2022. Uh, right now, the three people, the owners of the factory have been arrested uh, in the Sarangpur. Uh, uh, in the Sarangpur. Uh, also, they have been brought to Harda and hand over to the Harda police. But the uh, rescue operation still continues and and as we can see, the casualties number was uh, around 11. It could be increased around um, uh, 175 people. More than 200 people have been injured in this factory blast. And people are hoping that when uh, will be the responsible people will get punished by the government. With camera person Abhishek Singh from Harda, Amritanshi Joshi for NDTV. Anurag Dwari joining us on the phone line. Uh, Anurag, uh, you know, the Chief Minister of the State will be visiting uh, uh, the victims and that's uh, expected this afternoon. Take us through uh, what led to this incident and, uh, you know, the fact that what is coming out now is uh, that the factory owners have been repeat offenders. Yes, Divya. Uh, see, Harda is the pocket uh, borrower of five times former BJP MLA and Minister Kamal Patel. Uh, he was... Among the ministers of the fourth Shivraj Singh Chauhan-led regime who lost the assembly elections last year. And uh, this, uh, the accused, the Agarwal family, uh, uh, who owns this factory, are also politically well-connected. Influential people known to them had tried to pressurize the Harda district administration to unseal the factory in 2018-19. But as we are reporting, the then district collector didn't help their cause. And in 2021 also... Uh, three people were killed uh, there in a mishap and the license was, uh, you know, uh, suspended. 
but in 2022 uh, 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 the license was renewed and uh, till 2025 and the manufacturing of crackers continued till date but still they don't have the license to manufacture the crackers they just have the license to stock and sell the crackers but uh, few of the officials who visited the site also told ndtv uh, that uh, you know the factory which was engaged in manufacturing of crackers uh, uh, they also built few houses for the workers which is in complete violation of the safety norms pertaining to such units and it was those houses particularly which bore the brunt of the killer impact of the blast fire on tuesday right uh, thank you so much arag for getting us all those uh, details